Hello everyone and welcome back to the Tabletop Simulator, welcome back to the uh, Fieldwake, the Dean 20 campaign. Uh, in the last couple of episodes we have had the guys experience work, we've had some successes, some failures, and we've had a bar brawl that turned into a double homicide courtesy of uh, Mr. Bomber. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and things are ticking along nicely there's information being gathered and being passed on to Bilal, which is what they were hired for um and they've come back after another long day working with the factory um toad's hole where his kidney used to be is slightly playing up uh, but the camera's capturing images so that's fine and they've been told that uh, tomorrow at the factory there's going to be a um kind of like a, a celebratory event because the the contract that the factory's been fulfilling for the past um, sort of four or five months has started, started to pay off and started to come to fruition. So there's going to be a bit of celebration and going to be um, some cake and coffee and things laid on. It's the kind of standard corporate um, congratulations to the workforce sort of thing that's been going on recently. We're getting them an office party. Yeah, you're having an office party, basically. Everyone seems quite <laughs> happy about this. Like, it's 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 a nice little treat to a certain extent. Um, so you you go home and, and you find the Balar um, enforcer, who's basically your babysitter. Um, he tells you that the information that Toad gathered from the medical bay is uh, brain scans, and as far as Balar's. Um, translators and, and um, encoders can figure out it appears to be brains um, experiencing high levels of stimulation mm. so stimulated brains stimulated oh, brains yeah. it, it appears to be sort of brain scans of people undergoing some kind of sensory stimulation so maybe they're observe, observing film footage or or listening to music or something like that while this is uh, ongoing mm -hmm. so um, this is this is the point you've reached to, and, and, and you head off to work the next day with uh, the excitement and, and celebration of a um, office party, office party going on in your in your minds. You arrive at work, and the place is packed um, on the ground floors. Um, the entire of the manufactory of floor three has been kind of turned off for the day. And floor three's uh, factory equipment has been covered with cloths, and, and the cake played out, and, and coffee, and tea, and, and a sizable amount of alcohol, um, possibly or possibly not brought by the company. No one's a hundred percent sure on that. Random alcohol um, for everybody. <laughs> yep. I mean, isn't that like one of the first things they teach you in high school or like elementary school? Whatever, don't take random alcohol you find. Like, just, just like, hand you a drink, and I'm just like, oh, hey, that's not just like, I can drink up late. <laughs> Is that like a no-no? Yeah, but, you know, this is the slums. Alcohol's alcohol. <laughs> alcohol. So, um, you guys sort of come into the party and everyone seems quite happy and pleased. There's an awful lot of people you don't recognize. Um, there's people in lab coats, there's people in medical coats. Um, there's a, a huge number of people who are just in ordinary clothing. It, it's, it's quite surprising the sheer number of people the building can contain, considering that despite the fact the manufacturing floors are quite busy, they're not normally this busy. Hmm. So you guys are welcome to grab a plate and, and, and um, just just join in and, and mingle and have, have an entertaining little time in the crowd. Okay, floor three, was there any, like, robot arms? Um, the floor three manufactory does have a couple of automated construction zones, yes. Okay. So, I want to go in search of the um, janitor's closet. I have no idea where this is going, but go ahead, Toad. You, you, you've uh, reasonably familiar with floor three, uh, being that you, you've spent quite a bit of time working on floor three doing repairs. So you can go and find the janitor's closet. Yes, that's fine. Okay. 
<laughs> so from the janitor's closet, I'm going to grab a mop head, take it off the mop. And I'm going to go grab something that I can make a red paste or paint. Got to be something in there. Okay, yep, yeah, you, you can find a, a, a red, um, basically red chalk paint. Nice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now with the robot arm, I'm going to throw the wig on top of it. And at the like front of the claw bit, I'm going to paint it red. And set up a sign saying, Nets Kissing Booth. <laughs> Just sit there with the robot arm randomly going with a wig on it. A mop head. <laughs> wow. And some red lipstick. So uh, Wonderful. So Sabrook set up a kissing booth. Um... What? No. I'm at the kissing booth. I set no, it up? No. 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 He set Sorry. it up. Um, Net set up a kissing booth. But I will go to it. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. First customer. Yum. First customer. How does a man <laughs> feel about this? <clears throat> I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, okay, so we've got a robot arm kissing booth that has a robot arm with a wig and um, red lipstick on, proffering kisses, I presume, thanks to a little bit of rewiring work. Um... Yeah, I, I just set this thing up to go, and then I, I walked away. I thought it was a great, jo a great joke. I'm not like sitting there to man it or anything. Enjoy the joke. J j just I'm enjoying the our, joke. J just for our um, audience who might not know what these things are, um, I'm just gonna post up a. This, this, this is what these things are in the current year, um, like in in 2014. These are uh, factory robotic arms. Um, <laughs> so so he's equipped something that's a little bit like this with a wig and a red lipstick and um, and set up a kissing booth in the corner. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we're going to have a few people with facial injuries by the end of this day, but fine. Hey, if they get drunk enough to actually use it, it's their own darn fault. <laughs> <laughs> so um, <laughs> this is this 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 party's kind of kicking away. Um, and people are happy and cheery and everyone's chatting. There seems to be a bit of confusion about why the party's going on. A lot of the guys from the manufacturing floor that you recognize, they, they're kind of like, okay, so something's happened that's been successful. Um, but party? Okay, fine, mm -hmm. party, whatever. Um, and the alcohol is being passed around. So are you guys uh, eating or drinking? Or what are you guys up to? I will... Yeah, I'll grab a, a plate with some food, probably something, you know, like a delicious ass sub or some shit, and a ball oh, of whatever. I'm just gonna steal like a full two six of. I'm taking like, a full bottle and walking away with it. No one seems to mind you taking a bottle of alcohol and buggering off with Fantastic. it. Fantastic. They they seem quite happy that uh, people are getting drunk and yeah, there's a couple of people who. Uh, probably are getting a little bit too drunk, but um, I'm gonna fine. I'm gonna go find a corner to sit in with my back in it. I'm gonna like pretend like I'm drinking off it, but just taking very small sips each time. Hopefully, so that nobody notices. So I can just watch, see what people are doing, see who's getting too drunk, see what's happening. Who is getting too drunk? Like, if I can find out anything about them. Okay, so so Bomber's um, sort of person watching in the corner. Um, Snobbly Wolf, what are you up to? Uh, I think I think I'd uh, mose around at the party, see what's going up, enjoy myself a little bit. Okay, so Snobbly Wolf's enjoying himself, grabbing some food, having a chat, this sort of thing. Yeah, that's good. I think I might want to find Rash Man. I don't know. You're gonna go and find Rashman. Okay, you can go and find Rashman. Um, Rashman is uh, over in the corner. Um, he's uh, having a drink, you know, scratching his chest. Things, things Rashman do. <laughs> nice. We are on the same page. The it's the guy with the rash. I mean, it's the guy with the. Uh, it's the thing. parasite. It's the, the guy. Yeah, the, the parasite, parasite guy cage. at the gate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Good to see you on the same page. Yeah. Uh, that I come say hi and ask how he's doing for one thing. 
Okay, so um, you you and uh, Rashman sort of get into a conversation about. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, you find out that he's quite interested in um, uh, shock roller and and the recent shock roller uh, competition between um, Ipton and Cherek, and uh, you and him have a nice little chat, and, and he's he's okay. He, he's still grumbly and a little bit sour but you know he's a little bit drunk so yay um, <laughs> he's a friendly drunk um that's what are you up to having set up a kissing booth okay so it's just basically food and social ongoings and alcohol yep. right now right yep okay i am going to head over to the supervisor's office Okay. Oh, does that take time, or is it just like, hey, supervisor's office, do do do, I'm there. Uh, you 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 can head on over to the supervisor's office. It'll take you a couple of minutes to kind of wend your way through the um, floor three. Uh, the supervisor's office, as you know, is, is off to the corner of one mm -hmm. uh, of floor three. So it take you a little while to wend your way over there. But the room's quite busy, so you're going to have to kind of squirm your way through. Okay. And is supervisor um, man hanging around, or is he off enjoying the partying on? Uh, he's off enjoying the party at the moment. Nice. The office empty? The office is empty apart from um, a sort of 24-year-old black male and a uh, probably about 34, 35-year-old white female, both of whom are wearing lab coats. Uh, they, they, they don't notice you come into the office. They're, they're a little busy. Okay, so they're busy. <laughs> How are they busy? <laughs> <laughs> you said uh, they're in lab coats. How are they busy? They're doing some experimentation in in um, facial biology. gender studies. <laughs> gender <laughs> gender study in facial biology. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna head in, and I want hmm. to turn off the auditory part of any alarms. Okay. Oh, what the shit okay. Who here? turned off that? Who? I. I didn't touch anything. I, I was actually tapped out. Phone onto my thing and I hit a button. I very dropped my phone on my laptop. You there suck. You know. What did I hit That's... on my laptop? Literally, what did I hit? I uh, hit the L key. Yeah, I'm going to set it up so that L nobody can unlock stuff anymore. Yes. Yeah, so what... L key is locked? Shit. Okay. Okay. My bad. So, I'm going to turn off the auditory portion of the alarms. But I want to turn oh. on the alarm lights and start some music playing over the PA system. <laughs> Ro roll me a computer use check. And I guess I'd better open up my player sheet, unless that's really lame. Oh! Oh, certainly yes. Certainly actually, yes. actually, I... I, I... I'll allow you to do that with a 14. I'll allow, regardless of your score, I'll allow you to do that with a roll of 14. You can set off the um, flashing red lights. We got flashing red lights and dance music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so at this point, the party's been going on for a little while. Um, Toad's been setting, set up some uh, red lights and disco music and a kissing booth. Um, Savrock's been... Um, well, sorry, have bombers, I seen the? Bombers. Have I seen? <clears throat> sorry, have I seen the guy that I had dealings with in the shower? Uh, roll, roll a spot check for me, considering you're watching. Yay! I can deal with that. So you've got sixteen plus your bonus, which is. I don't hard. have a. I don't have a spot, so it's just my. Oh, you don't have spot. Yeah, I don't have. Spot. So. 16. 16 is, is quite good. Okay, so um, you don't see the guy that you had the encounter with in the shower, uh, but you do notice that there's a certain number of people moving through the party who aren't part of the party. It's an odd thing that they're moving through the party and they're talking to people, but they don't seem to be drinking or eating or actually doing anything party-like. Most of them seem to be wearing lab coats. Um, so you're not really sure what's going on there. They're not eating, so, not drinking anything. No. 
Okay. Um, I'm going to find Snarbly Wolf. Yes. And just kind of let him know that the guys in coats aren't eating and drinking. So, considering you're dealing with Parasite, which is a radioactive material, who knows what they're doing with it? That's just. Let's take the extremely worth, like, very high cost Pass. material and put it into people's food and drink. Is that what you're insinuating? Hey, I'm saying who knows what the hell they're doing because who knows what they're using the material for, what they could be synthesizing with it. I don't know. They're a friggin' big ass company who's shady as shit. I ain't getting too involved with this. So I'll be safe. I'll go a little bit hungry and I'll eat a bag of meat on the way home. Whatever. Okay. So, um, can you all three of you roll me a fortitude save, please? Oh, no. Where'd my 20 go? Talk a, talk a dick. Oh, shit. Alright, so plus oh, two. there it is, right in the middle of the table. Four plus five, so I got nine. <laughs> Three, and my fortitude is... No five. Save me. Total. Yeah, I think I've only got a two. I got so, a nine. Yay. Fortitude save plus one, so I got a four total. So, five, four, and nine. Okay. So, um, the world starts to get a little bit, shall we say, wibbly. Um, wibbly wobbly? Timey wimey? Wibbly wobbly. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say there's any timey wimey involved, but there's certainly a, a degree of, of wibbliness involved. Okay. Um, you all three of you start to feel a little bit uh, nauseous. The world starts shifting a little bit, and um, yeah, you you don't feel uh, in the best of situations right now. Um, what would you guys like to do? I'm gonna take a look around and see if anybody else seems to be suffering these effects. I'm going to make my way to the bathroom and immediately puke everything up. Okay. As fast and, you know. Well, considering I, that, like, myself and Snarbly haven't said we've eaten anything, I'm thinking this might be more likely to be airborne. Okay. So, um, a couple of people seem to be showing similar symptoms. Uh, some people don't, some people do. It it's, seems to be sort of roughly 20 to 30% of the people in the room seem to be showing symptoms. Um, and, and in general, people seem to be, uh, the people who are showing symptoms seem to be kind of like sitting in chairs and, and kind of rubbing their head or rubbing their faces. They seem to be feeling a little bit sick or, or un, unhappy, shall we say. Okay, uh, I want to make my way over to, like, our workshop area, and yep. then, um, I, I assume we're using oxyacetylene welders? Or uh, yes. you, there, 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 there is some oxygen-based uh, welding equipment, yes. Okay, so I'm going to um, take one of the hoses off the welding equipment and start inhaling oxygen. Okay, so um, Snobby Wolf, what are you going to do? What are you up to? Hmm. I'm tempted to go to the, uh, the Ferrisite elevator guy, see if he's experiencing anything else. Wait, I have a question. Uh, those mysterious guys in suits that Bomber uh, saw. Yep. Are any of them experiencing symptoms? Uh, you'd have to sort of look for that. So should I roll for that? Yep, roll a spot check. <laughs> Alright, spot check. Fourteen. Okay, so you, you can tell that probably the guys that don't appear to be... Um, sort of partaking in the party, the guys who seem to be just wandering about talking to people. They don't seem to be affected by the situation at all. Hmm. Alright, well, looks like I, uh, I go over to Ness and, uh, actually, no, I go over to Bomber and tell him that there's a, a couple wet, weird dudes that are, uh... Okay, so, let, let's resolve, um, resolve this, so... Toad goes and starts huffing pure oxygen. Can you roll a fortitude save for me, Toad? 
Well, it's oh, not like no. I've got my mouth right on it. It's like I'm blowing it in my face, so I've got actual breathable air because I think this is airborne stuff. I know. I know. I know exactly what you're doing. 12 plus the 1, so 13. Okay, so what's happened, Toad, is you've started inhaling pure oxygen. Um, you've, it's a distance away from you, but you've started inhaling quite a large amount of oxygen. This has increased your heart rate, increased the speed at which blood flows around your body, and increased your metabolism. So I... am conscious. Okay. Awesome. Um, 50. Uh, yeah. Bomber. You headed off into the bathroom and you, you vomited. Can you roll a um, uh, an awareness check for me? Can you roll a uh, d20 plus your wisdom? Oh, shit, son. 18. Okay. <laughs> it's minus one. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, I still got 18. So a, a, as you're lying, as you're sort of lent over the, the toilet bowl, puking your guts out, uh, you hear some footsteps behind you. Uh, what do you do? Um, I'm going to kick the door shut. That's it. Just kick the door shut, lock it, and say occupied. Okay. So um, you've kicked the door shut and locked the locked the door. Uh, Vagabond, you've gone in search of Bomber, so you you've probably noticed that Bomber's headed off to the bathroom. Uh, so you come into the bathroom behind Bomber. <laughs> This is great. Everybody <laughs> close, close the door. Oh. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> and in the bathroom, uh, you see uh, a rather sort of unpleasant sight, shall we say. Um, you see three guys um, who are wearing um, lab coats. But uh, underneath the lab coats, uh, they are now sort of hanging open on their chests. They're wearing a kind of uh, segmented uh, body armor suit um, beneath, the, beneath the lab coats. They're wearing kind of like, it's not quite a, a battle suit, but um, it's, it's kind of a, a segmented uh, body reinforcement suit, the kind of thing that you'd expect for uh, low oxygen environment movement and... Um, light scale patrols for police forces, things like that. Um, oh no, they're going to kill us! So we're, we're sort of talking, um, I'm trying to find a decent image of uh, something, we're sort of talking something along the lines of this sort of um, underbody armour. Um, Ooh! Just segmented plates. That's in, nice. In That's bad light. ass. Um, and there's there's three of them in the bathroom, and uh, they seem to be paying attention to one of the stalls with his door closed. Uh, what would you like to do? Well, first off, um, this is, I'm not actually going to do this, but uh, if I take out my hatchet and I swing it at one of them and I successfully hit, uh, what would it do? Uh, it to would, the armor. Uh, as far as your you and your character know, like you stick an axe in people. <laughs> Have to find Good out. enough. All right. Um, so uh, I asked them, uh, hey, guys, uh, what, what's going on? As I slowly uh, walk over towards the uh, one of the stalls or urinals or something. Um, okay. So you walk in uh, and you're walking. It's quite a small bathroom. It's, it's a standard bathroom. You've got like six urinals, three stalls, set of sinks. Um, so it's probably like 60 foot by 20 foot, 25 foot bathroom. Um, pretty standard factory bathroom, really. Um, as you sort of say, hey guys, and you walk in, all three of them turn around to look at you. And uh, one of them sort of smiles and, and goes, um, oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, hey, buddy. And uh, goes to pat you on the shoulder. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, Quick question while this is happening. Do I hear? Mm -hmm. the yep, you can, you, you can hear all of this. Yep. Um, oh no, I'm gonna can die. I... <laughs> <laughs> can I uh let me just see something here? Let me check my like, as soon as you I'm guys a, see a, anybody with I'm another piece of equipment it. on them, whether it's a cell phone or a standard issue body I mean, armor, you're like, oh no, they're gonna kill us. Let's kill them uh, first. Homicide. I'm not gonna I, I, kill them, but uh 
You're like, what happens if I stick an axe in this dude? No, I'm not. <laughs> but he's wearing body armor. It, it, hence the armor. And he put my hand. He put he put his hand on my shoulder. And he hasn't put his hand on his sh shoulder yet. He's reaching out for your shoulder. <laughs> What'd you like to do? Oh no. <laughs> I'm just deathly. I know it's probably going to be like that college student incident. Where I accidentally kill three guys who are just. <laughs> choices, choices, stop it. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, I'm sorry. Um, so these guys are in lab coats and they have these body armor on. Yep. Anything, like... anything about uh, anything about their faces at all? Uh, like they're, they're just so... looking normal. Yeah, they look like normal guys. They they. Look like the the kind of guys you see coming down from the fourth floor at the end of the day. They don't see anything odd about them. They're not massively built. They're not enforcers. They're not. Um, they don't look like linebackers or anything. They just look like lab guys in in reinforced bodysuits. Oh man, um... bomber! Are you gonna do anything? <laughs> Well, he's gone. Well, uh, I just no, say, I'm uh, thinking, I'm thinking here. Give me a second. I, uh, so, can I sense, can I sense the motive of the horses? Yep, you can sense the motive if you want. Okay, through their horses. Aw, oh, 10. Okay, so, um, from that, you, you can tell that these three guys are probably reasonably nervous. Like, you can get like a reasonable read to say that like these guys probably aren't massively happy with what's going on at the moment. They they would prefer things to be simpler. But I'm, that's wait, also so... kind of like standard response to Snarbly Wolf. Like dude in wooden I mean, mask I'm just walks mask. in. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> that's, that, um, that's a fair I'm point. gonna I'm gonna pull my knife. Oh, okay. Open the door, oh, okay. but I'm not gonna show my knife. I'm gonna have it set. I'm just sort of like. I'm well, actually, can I can I can I uh, ask face. a question? So he said, "Hey, buddy," and he reached up, put put, it, put a hand on my shoulder, yep. right? So, uh, I'm guessing body armor is not really concealed at all. Nope, it's not concealed. No, so... body armor. Uh, so... I I guess I'll say. Uh, uh, no, not much. Not much. How have you been? Huh. Okay. So nice you, suit, by the way. You're, you're going to respond, and um, he, he, he kind of like pats you on the shoulder. Uh, roll a fortitude save for me. Oh, no. I knew it. Yeah. He's going to shoot me. Stocky. <laughs> it's going to be an electric suit or some shit. It's like Iron Man all Seven over. Seven plus nine. Okay. So um, as yeah. his hand lands on your shoulder, uh, you feel a, a sharp stabbing pain. Uh, where his fingers touch, and um, uh, uh, sort of a, a, a tingly feeling, shall we say, um, that very quickly becomes a, a not so tingly feeling that very quickly kind of fades into unconsciousness as 45,000 volts pass through the lower base of your spine. So I just. Yay, we're all getting <laughs> unconscious! And. Uh, all right, um. The three I guys in armor tend to look at Bomber. <laughs> I haven't opened the door yet. Oh, right. I okay. I thought you so I will. Door. I'm gonna, I, so he's fallen to the ground. I'm going to slide. I'm going to put my knife away. Uh, I'm actually going to... Is there... Yeah, I guess I can't already conceal my knife anywhere on me. Quite. Yeah, I'm, I'll just hide my knife like I regularly do. The second one is... Are the torret tanks? What are the torret tanks like? Are they basic? Like, do they have the removable lid made of porcelain, or what is this shit like? Is it fancy? Uh, they've got removable lids. They're they're made of pressed um, uh, chrome steel, but yeah. So got... it's solid and will do damage. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna grab that, and since they probably haven't noticed me in the next stall over, I'm gonna just haul ass out and bash ass with it. Not that it'll ass, I'm gonna s in the head. Okay. Uh, roll I'm, swing so, for me. First guy. 
Oh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Critical <laughs> failure. I, oh, I, please have him knock himself out. I'm not even angry I was, at that. I, I was literally just about to say, uh, so you burst open from the second stall and come running out with the metal toilet lid in hand. Um, and you you burst out to three slightly surprised and startled science officers um, or, or guys in lab coats. And you make it about four steps before you hit a wet patch on the floor um, and face plant straight down onto the tiles. And the world goes black. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh. oh, that's fantastic! <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. As soon as I rolled, I saw the one once, and I'm like, nope. It's you know what the best part is? Nets is unaware of what happened in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Will you at least it's tell us what happens to our bodies? Oh, oh yes. Yes, definitely. <laughs> oh, no, no, he's gonna kill us. He's oh, gonna rape no, us. no, 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 no. Why would I kill you? There's so many, many, many more fun things I can do to you. Like I said, well, on know. that ominous note, I say we pause here, because that's 30 minutes, everybody, and we'll pick up in the next episode. Sounds okay. Good.